Chris. You look a little better, honey. You, you, look, you look a little better. Your eyes getting color back. Okay. Got you cleaned up a little bit. You need to stay all them cat yeah, fights. Yeah. Yes, you do. Uh, is that something you, yes, so you, you do? Can, so you can identify the, the blend? He's resting, it's fixing the rain. Maybe that blend that has, just like the Hi, one Ian. you used up there at the uh, Lofton's. It the one may up have here? A brown one in it. Oh, I see Ian, he's black. Now you might want to clean, see if you can press it. your friend. You have the pressure That's one. Ian. You know Ian oh, loves well, you, well, he don't you hurt you. Before you brick, you should clean it and see if, it, if that's the There one. you go. Short little video. Yeah. yeah. My kitties. Yeah. Good deal. That's a good idea. Morris. Okay. And well, I'll, I'll let you go and I'll send these three texts to you. Gonna rain. It's thundering. Yeah. Focus on you and you can't see him. Let's turn light on. There he is. <laughs> oh, there's Ian. Likes the cool floor with the fan going. Don't ya? Mm-hmm. We got the air conditioner on, but it's pushed up high. Because it's gray skies today. i show you. I'm going to turn it off. I'll show you gray skies. See how great it is? I know some people don't want no more rain, but I put my flower, my petunias out here in the rain and my other flowers. It's my neighbor. Oh, we're supposed to, that's Nancy. Uh, and I stuck all, everything off the porch out there, the flowers. I set them out. If it get rain, I don't have to water. And I put me some buckets out over there. See my cat buckets? Tidy cat buckets? I've got four out here. Anyway, the rain runs off the house. There's no gutter right here by the carport. See where my car is. And uh, so I catch rainwater. And this is not five gallons, it's probably four. Anyway, it give me quite a bit of rain. This is the best place to catch it's over here. And I got my this potted plant out here. This is zinnies are coming up. Now they get bigger than this. And that flower, it can get prettier than this. They're like this. Here. Here's a pretty one. There's a pretty one. See how pretty they are? Pretty. And they're all different colors. Here's a pink one. And kind of a fuchsia. You know, that's orange. And lighter orange. You got different colors. That's why I like these. And they get really tall. And my mom's got two sets of these. These are kind of a, a fuchsia color. They're real pretty when they bloom. I'll set these out to get some water. Petunias. Keep the dead ones plucked off there. You get more petunias. You don't want them to seed. I gotta deadhead these. I'm gonna go get a pair of scissors and get those off there. So. Now this almost died on me. This is geranium. And uh boy it grew huge in the house and I just threw out some of it because it's way too long. And trying to see if it it will make it. 
All these get some water in there. Some more petunias. <sighs> Haven't dug these out of there yet. I've got to dig these out of there. <sighs> They're not rooted too much. They're right there in the middle. They got like a root in the middle. Should do it before it rains. We could rain any second. My elephant ears like sun. This one's back here. I don't know if it's going to do any good. It might be too much shade. Anyway, when I put that miracle grow around them, the dirt, they popped up. Y'all use that miracle grow. Don't use dead dirt. It won't do nothing. These are... These need water right now. These are uh, lavender. If it don't rain, I'll have to put some water on there. These are just wildflowers. Stuff I got out of a box. I don't even know what they're called. This might be a black eye Susan. Uh, but I don't know what these are. Let's see. It's a type of lily, I think. Ooh, let's see. Okay. That's about it. Going home, take a break. Pause. I chewed my neighbor out for help for digging out my honeysuckle. Told him to get rid of it before it rang. Ha ha. He got rid of the honeysuckle. <laughs> I told him today to get rid of that honeysuckle before it rang. He did. I guess he's doing it now. I don't know. I told him to put it out there in the ditch. I think he's taking it to his property. Good thing he listened because We've got rain in the forecast all week, and that would... It's just going to kill more grass if you don't get it out of there. Okay, David, thumbs up. Even though it leaves tracks on my land, him using the tractor. See the honeysuckle they tore down is gone. He's over there. I don't think I get a shot of him. He's over there on the tractor. That's his property over there. I think he took the... Uh, Honeysuckle over there. Let's see if he did. Yeah, he took it down there with his tractor. I think he's having a problem getting it off of there. <laughs> you know, honeysuckle and vines is hard. I think his son's over there mowing. That's his property. I'm glad he got it in time. My gate's still open. Right there's my gate. I can't see it where the... Y'all see my gate's open. It's fixing the rain, y'all. I gotta go. Well, it's a storming now. Uh, I used to bring that hammock in. I just leave it up now. I mean, they're, I don't know, $100, whatever. You should take it down every time it rang. I don't need more. I just leave it. It's supposed to get rain all week. More flooding. But you know, floods don't just happen. See? Why well, don't like that tractor in my yard? That's a big old sunken in spot and there was no need of taking my honeysuckle out hmm I asked my husband I said how much you paying him to do that I don't know we haven't discussed the price <laughs> you tear something down you're responsible to get it off my property that's how I feel you know don't tear it down if you're not willing to haul it off because I am not burning it. Okay, y'all. I'm Biachi today.
okay?